Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Hey, today's video is just kind of a vlog style. Um, go down to the shop, do some pulling and shipping of some items that sold, and then I uh, run some errands. And actually, my clips kind of got messed up, so I don't have those. Um, but then I do an unexpected trip to the thrift store, so I give some vintage to that, and the haul video at the end. So stay tuned. Okay, now we're back in the shop and I am going to start pulling stuff for shipping. Um, one of the things I sold were these. They're these um, stamp collections from the 1980s. Well, actually, uh, I don't know when they were actually published. It's on here somewhere. But the um, packages, one of them, oops, sorry. One of them is from the 80s, one is from the 90s. And the other represents stamps from the 1900s. And I sold all three of these as a lot. I picked these up. These came in that a couple weeks ago at a garage sale. I bought a whole box of different ephemera items. Postcards and um, maps and some religious articles and old uh, cards. Stuff like that. So those came in there. And I paid $5 for the whole box. I sold these three items as a lot for $13. Plus shipping. So... I just take those and I put them in one of these manila envelopes and I'll put in some of the thin cardboard to add just a little extra protection. Um, and then I'll write on the envelope, do not bend. And hopefully they won't, but um, yeah. So that was good. So that was one of the things that sold and um, now I'll have to look for the next one. Okay, and then the next item that we sold is some silverware oops sorry about the glare there i'm gonna turn the camera the other way so i'm gonna set you right over here while i try to pull these off the shelf gotta rearrange a little bit all right there you go have them in these boxes we sold four of the nine Four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look and see if there's some like this is a nicer one. So that one, it has less um, scratches on it. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So there's our four. I'll put the rest back in the box. So again, these items I picked up at the bins um, probably two months ago. Um, and they're quite heavy, so I paid quite a bit. But I, I listed them as individual items. So like people could buy just one, which I did sell just one spoon. Um, and I'm sold out of the spoons. I just have the knives and the forks left. So that is a been a good deal i'm selling them for five dollars each um so and what's nice is they're they're heavy to ship but they're fairly easy and they you know it does the calculated shipping because i have it based on one piece um at a time so it kind of combines everything so you can uh, ship it that way so those are the two things that i'm shipping out this morning and then i'm also um, working on getting a bunch of stuff priced to take down to the pink elephant because I'm redoing my shelves down there. And then I'm also hope to today to go through my holiday stuff and start getting that unboxed, which is at the front area over there. And uh, so I can start seeing what's in there because it's July and I need to start getting holiday stuff out and start listing it. And I know some people sell it all year round. And, uh, you know, I probably will going forward now that I have access to more stuff in my new space. So I'm excited about that. <clears throat> okay, so this Goodwill is my local Goodwill, the one closest to my house. And it, um, I don't find a lot of stuff here, but I find some great one-off items. And so let's stop in and see what we can find today. I got a few minutes and this store will eventually close and they'll have to move somewhere because this whole area was um, 
bought up by a developer so they're gonna build something here at some point so so yeah but in the meantime we'll go check it out see what we can find always a good time Okay, when I go in, I usually go to the left, but there were several people standing there blocking the road, so I decided back. I'll just head straight the back, artwork. head back to the um, first, but. furniture area. The artwork is also back there, so I have to walk through all the clothes to get there. Um, so yeah, so I stop to uh, take a look. Here's the furniture. Now it's com most of it is new from when I was here last week, so it's just here a week ago. I think they sell a lot of furniture here. Um, and then I decided to stop and look at the artwork, and you can see my flip flops there really nicely. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is a new camera that I'm wearing with the body mount, so I'm still trying to figure out camera angles and the best way to wear it and how to show things as I'm wearing it. So, and I will do a uh, planning on doing a review on this particular camera. It's not a GoPro. It is a cheaper camera than the GoPro, but it's gotten reviews um, better than GoPro because it doesn't have the glitchiness. Apparently, GoPro's um, software can kind of give out. But um, I was looking at this. These are actually, there was a pair of them. There were two of them. They were needlework, and um, there was an inscription on the back. That's what I was doing, was reading there. And they were very nicely framed. In fact, it said $87 to frame it. So I was like, wow. Um, and they were from 1997, so somebody really enjoyed them. Um, but hung them up. And I pulled this one out. This was an original piece of artwork. At least it looked that way. Um, you know, that somebody had very inexpensively framed. And I pulled out these mats because I'm like always looking for mats. But um, they were asking three bucks for them. Well, you can get them that price at new for the store. Um, but yeah, then they had a couple of these posters. This was an original oil painting, uh, unusually framed, an unusual shape. It was on board, oil on board, but it was an amateur piece, so I decided to put it back. Here's the other one. This is, they had two of these posters. This one was Lord of the Rings, but they were poorly printed. They are just, somebody ran them off on their printer, I think. There was a couple of prints that I picked up that I started to look at, but... I don't need any more. Um, and here's the, they put the larger prints in another um, in these two cages, which I like because then they're not stuck in with the others, and you can't see the others because they're covered by the larger artwork. Anyway, so uh, continue walking down the furniture aisle. They had some. There's a, a print I picked up to look at. It's had the guy's name on it. It's just a expensive Chinese plate sitting there. Then I stopped to look at this, which is an old lighthouse. It's actually a, you know, just a decorative piece. This is an old dresser somebody took and rehabbed. They covered it in fabric, made it kind of a French style. Um, but yeah, they sometimes have some really nice furniture here. So I always take your time to look through. This was a music stand. Um, you know, the more professional grade as opposed to the cheap metal folding ones that <laughs> most students have to practice on. So it was $15. Well, that little giraffe coat hanger is still there. Oh, I saw him from last week. I had some video footage on him. Walked down the lamp aisle. Their lamps gotten some good lamps here, but right now there's nothing too exciting. Then I do a quick glance at the electronics. There's some other people rolling out a rug, so I didn't want to get in their way. So I decided to uh, come down the other aisles. I go down the sports aisle because I'm looking for pickleball rackets and vintage tennis rackets. This one was interesting. It said Woody right on it, which tells me it was right made at that transition between metal and wooden rackets. Here's a vintage one. It wasn't in very good shape, so I left it. And then I continued to look for some more. There's another one. Kind of vintage metal racket, but just not to do anything with that either. Um, not much else there. Go around. And then I 
I come down this aisle because they have some they, their candlesticks at the end here, and I found some Christian Dior and some other really nice candlesticks on those shelves. So um, then I'll come back to this shelf. Here's the carts where they're putting stuff out. I would like to get a quick glance if I can to see if there's anything good in there. Um, and I'm sitting down. This is the the figurines aisle where they have a lot of the figurines and handmade pottery and stuff like that. Knickknacks. Um, so I'm just looking to see if anything catches my eye. I haven't found anything too exciting in this aisle for a while. I have some, found some great stuff. They had, I found Yadro for four dollars. I found um, some other great pieces. So that's why I always stop and check it out because you just never know. This was a new metal bank. Didn't show up very good on camera there, but uh, let's see. This was a, a wooden decoy. It has not wooden, sorry, it's a plastic decoy. Some of those can be worth money, but that one wasn't marked, and somebody had taken a, a knife or something and carved their name into it. It's just a, a great cluster full of oil of some sort. And let's see, it's a little wooden, carved wooden piece that maybe could be out of olive oil, so it could have been from like the Middle East or Israel, somewhere like that. I was trying to debate, this was actually a plastic sculpture. Um, I was checking to see if it was a metal, but it was plastic. A couple angel figurines there. They were unique in style, but modern. Not too impressive. This was a Norman Rockwell piece. First, I couldn't quite figure out what they were doing, but she was putting her shoes on, so I assume they must have been like dance competition or something. One of his uh, paintings that they pulled it from. I wasn't familiar with which one, so they were asking five dollars for it. It's four ninety-nine, so I put it back. Um, and this was a handmade piece of pottery. Um, it just had a, a fish mark on the bottom, so I don't know who that was. This was a Lefton piece. It was kind of nice, but I'm just not looking for figurines at the moment. I have plenty to sell. Looking for more unusual vintage items, which we'll find, so you'll see that in a few minutes. So on the other side, they have some smaller tchotchkes, if you will. Um, this was like one of those hand-painted Russian lacquer boxes. Um, put that back. This was a piece from probably the 19... I couldn't read the date on it, but it seemed to be like the 19... 20s, you know, the hand painted pieces. This was a wonderful little barometer, but it had a couple of the spokes broken off of it. Otherwise, I probably would have picked it up. So I sell those down at the Pink Elephant um, really well. And then I pick up, and that's funny, that little stained glass turkey I just donated. It's kind of fun to see stuff that I just donated showing up on the shelves. But anyway, because um, I you know, try to sell things if they don't sell after a period of time, or if I mm -hmm. change my mind because um, some things I picked up and then I decide I don't want them, then I redonate them. This was a wonderful pottery piece. Um, it was a lidded dish, but they had it taped together so you couldn't open it. Um, but I decided just to put it back. This was a carved coconut shell with inlaid uh, mother of pearl, which I thought was interesting. Then I saw this milk glass milk bottle. <laughs> was that for a description? It's got a, a mark on the bottom. Couldn't really read it, um, but I picked it up because it was only, I believe, two ninety nine, like maybe three ninety nine. Can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, it was senior discount day, so I got another twenty five percent off. So choose to go ahead and go with it because I hadn't seen one like it before. Picked up this. And there were two of these cup and saucers. I'm trying to read the bottom of them. They were both the same, so it's kind of nice to have a set, but decided against those. I've picked up a lot of those lately, so don't need any more. And then there's frames there. Passed on the frames. And then my eye spotted something right down the shelf. That, yep, right there. It's the stove top pepper shaker. No salt. I'll look. Okay, guys, I just got done 
shop. And in the store, let me show you what I found real quick. Um, some exciting things, I think. I found this milk bottle. So it's a milk glass white bottle. It was $2.99. Today is senior discount day. I always forget Wednesdays are senior discount day. And let me turn the phone down here. Um, that's a loud. Um, it's hot. Air conditioner is trying to kick in. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that was a fun little bottle. I haven't seen one like that before. Found this vintage stove pepper thing. No salt. I looked all over for the salt. Couldn't find the salt. Here's something I've, I've not seen before. Not seen in the sense that it's quite old. And, uh, Anyway, it was in this box. And here's what it, it's an electric razor. But it's the <laughs> it's the thin blade electric razor. So this is an early, early electric razor. Uh, I I was like, cool. Now this was $4.99. But with the discount it was four dollars. So and again, I don't know if it's really worth anything. But I know vintage razors are worth money. And so I thought, I'm going to pick it up. But here's the one. It's so funny. I had people asking me throughout the store, what's that? What's that? I kept thinking, because I'm wearing my camera. I was thinking they were asking about the camera, but they weren't. Um, they were asking about this, because I was carrying this around. And they're like, what's that? And I go, it's a vintage waffle maker. It's not even vintage. It's like close to being an antique, because its patent date is 1921. So that was a hundred years ago this thing was patented. And uh, so yeah, there's no cord to it, but this is just the simple two prong cords, which would be better off uh, getting a new one anyway. So there you go, that's our fun finds. And that just ripped the bag. That's why you don't use paper bags for good stuff like this. But I have another one right here that I could put it in the cloth one. So anyway, that's what we found at the Goodwill today. Thanks guys.